two things I want to mention quickly. This, this whole point is you've got the flat lengths, you want to find the height, so um, you can go the other way. If you have the height and you're missing one of the flat lengths, such as if you're trying to compute it, if you've got this somewhat complete decrease balance, it's uh, relatively simple to, um, well, simply possible. You don't have to do some new cat type of math, it's the same type of math, and then you get the solution. And you can go back to the angle. And uh, once you've got the angle, you put it on a piece of paper, you put the Consider the similar triangle for the flat. You add next, add the one next to it, extend the segment, add a two, and you keep adding some more triangles and extending them. And eventually, if you have the correct height and if you fold it infinitely accurately, the height should align at the end. If it didn't, then um, it, it's actually possible to sort of keep uh, approximating until you get the correct height. It's like find an approximation of a different type. And yeah, but that's not really useful. So. Uh, more of an application I was thinking. Uh, this is a crease pattern I generated in TreeMaker, just that this is how it looks when it's folded. And a lot of times you have circles, such as um, here, this is a particular outline uh, quadrilateral, and it's a gusset molecule. And at the top, there's the gusset. And it would be really nice if in TreeMaker, Lang would probably, I don't know, if I can get him to implement it. If, if you can get TreeMaker or some program to carefully adjust everything and make sure that everything is a water bomb molecule, then in this crease pattern, everything will align nicely. The flaps will be wider, but um, here's, by the way, a five-sided one, which is really lopsided. But um, as a water bomb molecule, everything would just go to the center and it's really neat. So you have less creases, and when you collapse it, you have uh, fewer layers, which eventually means thinner models, easier models, hopefully. Uh, this isn't it still, it's not implemented, but um, that's basically some sort of idea. And um, one other nice thing is, if you just construct a molecule and collapse it, you can create star shapes with any flat lengths you want, or just keep them as regular molecules, which could be useful if you want strands, which you need to bend or fold, like Shaper's star. And do I have a bit of time? Yeah, and it's actually interesting. There's, this is the regular way I found to compute the height. And you can solve this. Uh, it's 50 squared minus 6 is the one you get. So the height in this case is 1. Uh, if you've got lengths of 1, 3, and 2, 1. Um, the example I'm giving is for a radio molecule where it's 1 half. With uh, flat lengths 1, 3, and 2. I think actually this one looks somewhat like 1, 3, and 2. Um, so, you can actually rewrite this sort of like what the polynomial came from by using imaginary numbers, which sort of give you you have two sort of uh, things where you put the distribute the um, polynomials over. So alternatingly, the i's will eventually cancel out, and then you um, it's like taking out every other term from the regular generic polynomial, and you'll end up with the water bond polynomial. Except I don't think you can use this to make any sort of connection. But it's so not nice. And then when I said lambda paper, he just had to tell me that he knows how to do it already. Because you can use the matrix to represent an angle, and then if you take the dot product of those, um, you'll eventually get something that represents the 360 degrees, which you want to be equal to pi or zero or something. So then you just take this element of the one in the bottom, it's the same thing, bottom and left. And that's what you want to be. Um, what you want to solve. So these are three different ways which give you a different idea of what water bomb molecules do, what they are, and how they're related to the polynomial, which I find somewhat interesting. And I have time, I wasn't expecting time. But I've also been doing a bunch of other research, like um, just constructing regular um, water bomb molecules in preliminary model, uh, preliminary folds, I'm so used to molecules now, with certain number of larger flat lengths. So here is a six-sided regular water bond base, which you could use to fold a, a one and a half water bomb. <laughs> and here's one with eight flaps, for example. And uh, you can use that to fold interesting those things like uh, my two-tailed three-wing crane. I'm not pulling that one from the preliminary base, these three sides. I should take one down here. Um, and like the six-sided base. And then I was thinking about actually implementing the um, this like 
uh, finding a way that given lengths you put into a program, you, it constructs the hydrogen, it shows you how to construct it, and how to actually construct the molecule, which would be kind of interesting. And, um, then that would require some sort of reference parameter that can give you any algebraic point so that you specify. So it, it's sort of something like that. Um, Mathematic um, go up to the desktop. So yeah. So like um, you evaluate everything. And then given any lengths, this will actually show you how to construct a lot of long things. So uh, just so you can say I've pre prepared this um, thinking issue. Does someone want to give me numbers? Okay. Five. Five. Someone else, another number. E. <laughs> Actually, it's epsilon. Another one? Square root of two. Okay, more? Five. Okay, it has to be real. Five. The golden ratio? Yeah. Uh, golden ratio, I meant. Euler's constant? Yeah. Yeah, or like gamma. Uh, gamma? No, Is it Euler gamma? Anybody want more? <laughs> so if you follow that up, you get a water bond molecule that you can say something like this with the correct number of flat lengths. Now, I don't have actually a folding sequence program yet, but I think I'm going to work on that the next. That's the idea. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> and the constraints are built on an object model. You'd have to implement um, just two objects, a water bond molecule constraint, and a, a GUI, a, a panel, plug-in panel, to allow entering the values into that constraint. Um, but it's actually built to be extensible, to allow exactly that sort of thing. So if, if you're interested in it, email me afterwards, and, and, you know, and I'll get you started. Sounds <laughs> fun. Does, does anybody want anything like the six sided water bomb molecule? <laughs> I've got a few. I've, I also have copies of my paper, which is a 17 page paper that I wrote on this. In case anybody wants one, I can give you one. So, is the next speaker setting up now?